What's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. It's been a while since I posted on YouTube and that's because I have been gaming and streaming on Twitch. And a lot of you guys have been asking, what's your gaming setup or how are you streaming? So I thought I would just make a video kind of walking you through everything I'm using right now. This is probably gonna change. I have already changed it probably 10 times since I started streaming, but this is what I'm doing right now and this is what has been working for me. So I'd say the most important thing would be the Elgato capture card, which I've been using the HD 60S Plus. I plug the HDMI into my Xbox or my um, Nintendo Switch. I go into Streamlabs OBS and there I can capture and stream my gameplay. Before that, I was using another HD 60S Plus to use my Sony camera, but I've actually got in the 4K cam link. So I'm using the Elgato cam link to use my mirrorless camera as my face cam. It's a little aggressive, especially when I'm not wearing makeup and I'm streaming because the quality quality is so good. Before that, I was using a webcam and it just wasn't great. So the camera that I'm using for my face cam and I'm actually shooting this video on is the Sony a7S Mark II, also with the Sony 24 to 70 lens, not the G Master, just the regular lens. And what I like about this and the cam link is that it doesn't overheat your camera because it's not technically recording 4K. It's just kind of, um, you know, bypassing through it. So that is how I get the quality of my face cam to look so good. Also have been using the Elgato Key Key light. I have one key light kind of positioned just right above my monitor and my other PC. So this one single key light has made such a huge difference and it's basically one of the three lights that I use. This is the only light I use for my face cam. The lights in the back are just kind of for effect, but you can control the key light from your app. You can adjust, you know, how warm or how cool you want it, the brightness. This really isn't a max bright. This is very, very low and it really does a great job of like illuminating your face. So I do most of my gaming with Xbox One X or the Nintendo Switch because I've been obsessed with Animal Crossing and Warzone. So I do use my Xbox One X along with my Elite Controller Series 2. I also use the Pro Controller with the Nintendo Switch, which I just started using recently. I'm not sure why I was boycotting it. I also do have a PlayStation. I just haven't been using that as frequently right now, but The Last of Us 2 is coming, so I better get ready. As for my monitor, I have talked about the monitor in a vlog and also an Instagram post. So this monitor is the 27 inch Ultra Gear. It is the LG GN 750. Now it has a one millisecond response time, 240 Hertz refresh rate. Now this monitor is suggested and it's way better used for PC gaming, which I do want to do more PC gaming, but just even using it on console and just using it as a second monitor for some other things, it's been really, really great. So what has been driving me the most insane is that I've been trying so many different laptops and computers for my streaming device. So if you have never streamed before, or if you're just getting into streaming, it can be very, very frustrating. So before this, I was trying with the Asus ZenBook. It was able to handle it, it's a laptop. It's definitely preferred if you're not using a laptop. Whenever I was having my streaming issues, it was disconnecting. My sister was like, I'm so tired of your streams failing. I'm bringing over my Microsoft Surface Studio 2 right now. So she recently has let me borrow her Surface Studio 2 as my streaming device. And it's actually been really, really great. Not only has it been able to handle Warzone as well as Animal Crossing and just normal, you know, streaming, but it's also has such a nice big screen that I didn't need a whole separate monitor dedicated just to watching my stream and like managing the chat. There's so much that goes into streaming that I had no idea were even a thing until a month ago. Now I do want to get a streaming PC, even though this has been perfectly fine. It's, it is my sister's. <laughs> so if I just steal it and never give it back, like I did her dog, I will be doing an updated video once I get an actual streaming gaming PC. But in the meantime, this is what we're doing and this is what's working. Okay, now some other struggles I had were my audio struggles. We have been figuring things out, but recently and right now I have been using this microphone, which is the Yeti microphone and I've gotten a lot of compliments. Everyone's like, you sound really great. And I also just recently got this arm stand, which is the Rode PSA one mic stand. It's like a hundred bucks. Another thing that I've been into is this hue light down here. There's an app called if this, then that. And what I've actually done was I've connected it to my Twitch. So every time I would get a follower on stream, I can make it flash purple. So it was like a really cool um, interactive thing where I told you guys, I'm like, hey, if you follow me on Twitch, you'll be able to see on stream this flash. I, is it blinking? It's going crazy. Oh boy. 
Oh geez. But what they don't tell you is that when you're gonna go to sleep at night, you should probably disconnect it because I have a lot of hue lights in my house and they all started flashing at like 3 a.m. and I was like, do I have a ghost? Okay, another thing is that I've actually also been using the Surface Book 3. Uh, I just recently got the Surface Book 3. I haven't reviewed it yet, but I want to. I've been using it to monitor my chat, reply back to chats because yes, having this dedicated streaming device is really nice, but also being able to have like a smaller device. I've also been using the uh, Surface Pro X just as like, you know, a way to make sure things are going well. For my headset, I've been using the Razer Kraken headsets. I like it because this little mic can pull out. So if I'm playing Warzone, I can talk to my friends. If I'm just using this to monitor gameplay for Animal Crossing, I will just push this back in and it's not in the way. I also have it in the pink. My sister also got me these nice little um, coasters that will absorb any like vibration or sound when I put down my drink <laughs> during a stream because that all picks up from the audio. So that's like super distracting. So that was actually very nice and thoughtful and has been very, very helpful. I have these Nan lights which I also use for YouTube videos, but what you can do is you can adjust the colors, adjust the brightness, and putting it behind me just kind of adds that nice little added effect for like the stream, and I can change the color so that it's not always the same. So that's really cool. Now it's green and it looks like Christmas. But anyway guys, I just wanted to do a quick update. That's what I've been streaming with, that's what I've been doing. You guys are always asking, so I figured I would just let you know. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. There's links in the description to everything that I have mentioned. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and healthy and happy. And I will see you again soon for a new video.